Hey everybody, it's Neil Walters, Neil's Videos. In this video, I had to restart my town because they said they basically lost what was on servers two through five. Actually, they said the servers reset. Let me just show you their actual words here. It says, as many of you noticed, servers two through five were suddenly reset. Now, what I don't understand is, does that mean they cleared the database? Which that, that must mean what it means because they store everything in a database, and surely databases don't get reset. So I think that the word reset may be a misnomer. It says this was not intended. The issue was uh, that caused it has been corrected, and all five servers will restart on March 1st as planned. So basically, you had to restart your town today, and you see in the upper right corner here of my game, I only have five days left. That's from today, March 22nd, till... Actually, March 1st would be more than five days. So, again, that's a little strange as well. Maybe they take a day off to, to reset more stuff. And then at the bottom here, it says, <clears throat> uh, to apologize for the sudden reset, we changed our setting last time when the reset happened and only one server worked, servers two through five, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't really matter. But the, the important thing is this, until the next reset, everyone who has more than one gala, which is a coin, right, will get five free gas every 30 minutes. Now, what's happening here is this little plane is flying around and it's dropping into your gas tank, okay? So if I'm understanding them, it's like I, I was gonna build a refinery here. I was thinking that this, this plane may just quit all of a sudden, but it's actually given me an amazing fast start because look, I, I have the resale script, auto resale script as turned on as always, and I usually have it to sell when I have over 30 gas. So you see right now it's got 34, and I don't know how often this, this it's more than every five minutes, but the plane will come in here, I think. I'll have to count and see if it only gives me five or not, but I've been getting a heck of a lot of gas from that plane, and so I have the original uh, depot here, and I have my express depot, and I'm a long way away from the city. So the trucks are moving kind of slow uh, because I built in the desert this time. I wanted to try the desert and the mountain and making uh, wine and all that kind of stuff, or at least not wine, maybe at least grapes. And then I learned that grapes, you have to have lumber. So you really need to do a quick start first before you can build the, the lumber mill so that you can build grapes, right? So I went with the old uh, four or five sheep pens here. I did a chicken coop first, and I kind of wish I wouldn't have done that because the money is basically coming in pretty fast from these uh, gasolines. Because look here, if, when, every time you sell a gas, I'm going to click the sell button, and it, it doesn't start first. See, a gas is $14,500. And so that's happening, seems like every three to five minutes, okay, that I'm selling that. See, like right now, it's, I don't, I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. But I think this gas shortly will get that truck going as soon as the auto sell script sees it. Or maybe it waits till I get 40. It may, yeah, it may wait till I get 40 and then it sells it. Of course, I could always tweak the auto sell script. So as usual, I am using my, my three or four NFTs. I'm using the wheat stand here to, to make the feed for the sheep pens. I'm using my two water towers. Uh, I didn't do a lot of planning on this because I just wanted to get my city up and working so I could get my daily rewards. And I'm not sure this is the best design because the, the these water towers need to be next to a road. So I came up with the idea of just putting them on both si either side of a road. And then this water, pow water tower is basically giving water to all these sheep pens except this one, which gets a little bit of water from him and then a little from the pond. But these are all getting five just because they're next to him. And then here the trees are getting five from this one and I think two from across the street here. And then I was going to build some more tree farms over here, but like see that one wasn't getting enough water. No, that one, I can't remember. One of them wasn't. Yeah, I think this one was not getting enough water. That's why I built this pond. And now I can build another tree farm here. Uh, to get that pond built, I had to build a couple of uh, wells. Otherwise, it was just taking forever because there, there's no water in this town. I do have a mountain over here so I can play with uh, the mining. It's needed for some of the wine. The wine cask, I think, require iron for the oak barrels. And I'm learning a few things. Like I said, I've really never played the desert. It costs $300 to remove a scrub. 
It costs 10000 to remove a cactus, and you still have the rocks just like before. 40000 remove those. You have no ponds to sell, and I was a little worried about that at first, but again, I was hoping my NFTs would cover me there. But again, with this gas popping in all the time to my uh, gas tank, let's see what happens now. See there, he's throwing in some gas. Now, how many do I have? That's funny. I have 39, and I thought he just added four or five to it. So, whatever. Like, for example, I'll just do it manually. I can hit sell here. I can sell 10 gas right now and make $14,500. I probably could have got a little closer to the, a city, but um, so that the trips would be quicker, but I was just kind of in a hurry. Now, see, there he's coming. He drops. It's definitely more than five minutes, unless it's just an anomaly, that the bug that they have or something. Okay, I don't know why I thought I was recording and I wasn't, so I may have to re-edit and repeat some stuff here. I did a screenshot of my screen, and here's what my plan is. This is my Snagit editor. So see, basically just made a screenshot of part of my town, and then I, I blew it up to larger size. I don't think I'm going to need a refinery as long as this plane just keeps delivering free gas. But I want to have a spot for them just in case. And so here we have the oil slick or oil seep, they call it. And that gives crude oil to everybody around it. So if I have the power plant next to it, it'll get at least, um, I don't know the number though, if it's one or two. Hopefully it'll give me two. And then that will give me the crude oil for the power plant in case I need to make batteries. But I'm not even going to need the energy batteries for a while because the power plant, um, well, it'll get its water from here. It is a power plant, so I don't think it needs power itself. So I, I built the pond over here. I'm going to build the pond there, the water pump, the power plant. I'll put the lumber mill here, here, a road, and then I can put the lumber yard either here to the left of the lumber mill or across the street. If I put it across the street, apparently I'm on this cactus, and that'll cost 10000 to remove. That's my current plan. I had to move my uh, wind turbine over here, and I don't even, not even sure I'm going to need it. But I, since since a normal game, if you're going to build a refinery, you need a water facility and a wind turbine. So I went ahead and built those. And again, I'm just kind of fearful that that air, airplane may quit dropping me all the free gas. So later, maybe I'll have to build a refinery. So I'm prepared in case that happens. Now I'm just going to wait a while till my pond gets built, and I'll return. Well, that only needed one water, and I'm back. And here I want to put the old water pump. You have two hundred thousand dollars. Water pump. And then next to it, I'm going to have. Can't build it yet, but I want to double check the pricing. Power plant is a hundred thousand, and it does need. Oh, it needs lumber, so we're going to have to build the lumber mill first. I forgot. It will need five energies as well. So yeah, I need five energies before I can build that. Okay, so I need to let that wind turbine generate some. And the uh, lumber yard, of course, is over here. Nothing special about it. I think it just needs a, maybe a road and it needs five uh, woods to get it going. That wasn't what I meant to do, so cancel. Okay, now, three wood for that. How's my wood over here? I have eight wood. That's good. My little tr Since you're in a, a, a desert, you, got, you have to build tree farms because there's, there's no trees at all that really come naturally. So your lumberjack ha can only work with the tree farms. And I think I mentioned I had to move my wind turbine over here because I had it here originally. And if you back out, you can see there's a mountain range over here. And the mountains basically totally block, not totally, they block the wind so much that the wind turbine was taking eight minutes to create one battery. So I, I, because I looked at my warehouse and I only saw one battery or energy. And I was like, what the heck is happening? Why is it so slow? And then I remembered mountains, Neil, mountains. Okay. So I put the the new wind turbine, after I destroyed it from here, I moved it over here to this corner as far away from the mountain as possible. And you see now it's green. Click on it, you see it's green, not red. And it's 
It's taking like maybe 30 seconds or pretty fast though. To basically create the energies. So actually we can start the lumber mill now. The lumber mill doesn't actually need the water pump. It makes it where you don't have to carry water to it though. So lumber mill only needs five woods. So let's build it. And 50,000, of course. Now, eventually, I want probably some roads around here to connect all this. And since roads are cheap, I'll go ahead and start that now. I'll do it off the video. I'll just show you afterwards what my roads look like. Okay, there's my roads. I'm going to go ahead and destroy this cactus here. Not very exciting. Remove $10,000, but again, got pretty good money. We're going to put a lumber yard right there. We want the lumber mill to not have to go far. We want the lumber mill not to have to go very far. Farm. Lumber yard. Okay, both of my trucks are back here. Yeah, I've got 39 gas again. So the auto sell doesn't kick in and start selling the gas, then again, I will do it manually. So, then you drop five more gas in there. So maybe he's only dropping five at a time, but he sure comes back pretty frequently. And I think I need another tree farm down here. So I forgot about that. That's why I built that pond there. So let's go back to farming some trees so I can get more, maybe another lumberjack and have more wood so I can have more lumber, et cetera, et cetera. There goes my wool, trying to sell that. Uh, that road there really wasn't, that was a mistake. I was originally gonna put maybe my water tower over there, but. Then I changed my mind. Oh, see, he's still short of water. So, yeah, he's, I think this gives five, four, three, maybe. No, it's five there. I think four here. And then it's getting two from there. So, four plus two is six. And so, Oh, I think somebody brought him some water. But anyway, I think he was a water short. So I'm going to go ahead and build trees here, and then I'm going to have to build like another pond over here. Maybe. Okay, that's good. The pond already has five water in it because it's getting some water from here and some from here. So it won't take quite as long to fill up. The first one I put out here, I think it took, had zero water and it took 10 buckets to fill it up, just like this one did. I'll check this little wood guy over here. So we got plenty of wood. We're just waiting on the guys to carry it over here. I think we kind of need we need a connection to this woodshed as well with the road. There's that dumb rock, 40,000 to get rid of. I built that little dirt road there. Like I said, I might put a refinery here maybe in the future, but for now I don't need it. So I'm going to just go right over the road there. And as soon as that's built, I'm going to crank up my lumber mill, let it make five lumber, and then I'll be able to do my power plant here. And actually, no, I don't have a hundred thousand. Since I have a hundred thousand and a plus a little extra, there's 131. That's nice. Uh, I can go ahead and start my power plant building it. And even though I don't have lumber, it will put all the other things it needs in there. And then when I have the lumber, it will finish it off. Uh, but it needs to be a paved road. Okay. So which road right here? This road will have to be paved. So we'll get upgrade. Thousand almost for that. Plus three wood have to be delivered. Okay, so my trees got built now after I added the pond, and they all get plenty of water. And now my lumber yard is built. So now I'm going to turn this guy on, say craft, and make lumber. And he's going to need four energy, four wood, two energy. 
So the energies are going to have to be, be batteries, of course, until I have the power plant built. So we'll need the battery energy units to do that. Sorry, the screen made it close. The water drum won't be needed because of the water pump here. Now let's check how many batteries I have. I have eight, so that's more than enough to get him built. He needs he needs two for every wood. So I think I'm going to need another windmill. And we don't want it too close to this one. We don't want it too close to the mountain. We don't want it too close to the houses. Crops are not a bad place for it, but I have to have a road too. So I guess I'm going to just stick it maybe here. I think it needs to be like three away from that one. So I'll put a road here. I might not have needed it because I'm probably going to have enough energy by the time he makes the first three lumber. I'm sure more energy will be moving in there. The slowest thing, of course, is the guy has to, has to carry the energy all the way back and forth. Here you can see it's probably one minute, I'm guessing 60 seconds probably to make each battery. That road paved. Now I can do the power plant, even though it won't be able to finish it until it has the lumber. Power plant, da 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 da. So again, lumber, wood, and batteries. So this game is going incredibly fast because of all this free gas that I've been getting. Basically selling gas as often as I can. And it just keeps filling right back up. Just to confirm, see that, that wind turbine is green. And if it's green, I'm pretty sure this one will still be green as well. The point is they're not conflicting with each other because they're like three over and then one, like a L shape basically. If I would have put it here, I think we would have a little bit of interference between them. You know, they're talking about having a dragon, too, in the game. I'm not sure what purpose it serves. I like this airplane. I think it's just kind of a hint or a taste of what's coming when they totally revamp the game. Like, you might be able to sell sell products to the airplane, maybe to another city, or you might be able to buy and sell between cities using it, something like that. I think I need another... I don't have two lumberjacks, but I think a third one wouldn't hurt. So... End of a road there. We'll put a lumberjack house there. Farm page. Lumberjack house, 2,500. I believe, again, so I think with grapes, we're going to need a whole bunch of lumber. So, for example, if I built 10 grapes over here, um, 10 grape fields, I would need 10 lumber for that. So eventually, I might need another lumber mill. You know, you're going to probably build tons of grapes over here. You need a lot of lumber. So this might be the next best place to build a lumber mill because I've got the water pump there. And again, this is assuming that I don't need a refinery, assuming this gas just keeps coming in for free. Now, if this was a regular game where I wasn't getting all that free gas, it would be a totally different scenario. So I'm sensing the need to need a lot of lumber. So I went ahead and built two more lumberjack houses right here. Because they will deliver the lumber to this uh, wood mill, the lumber mill. And I have enough trees, so I just needed a few more lumberjacks to basically start handling the number of trees I already have. Well, let's go ahead and put a great item over here. I know we're going to need lumber for it. But let's go ahead and do it. Now, there are two types of grapes, Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, I think. There's Chardonnay, and I think down here you have Pinot Noir. And that's 5,000. This is, hmm. See, like I say, I've never played the grapes before, so I don't know which one is better. I think I've seen people do the purple ones, and since they cost more, I'm guessing that they sell for more. Yeah, so see, it needs one lumber to build that. So I'm competing right now. This guy still needs three lumber. And we'll see. It doesn't really matter. But I want my I really want my power plant to get the lumber first. But it might just randomly decide to give a lumber over here. 
So I'm just going to pause the video until my power plant gets built and then this great yard starts getting its one lumber. Okay, so I, the, the builder is actually carrying a lumber right now to the grapes. Uh, rather than giving priority to the guy who's been waiting the longest, he somehow gave him some priority. Maybe he just does a round robin between all the guys waiting for lumber. And like I said, this is truly the first time I've ever built a grape field in Townstar. That's what makes the game interesting is there's so many variations, so many different products, so many different uh, biomes, like the desert versus the forest and so on, that the game can kind of have a renewed interest if you get bored of a certain thing. And guess what? Of course, it needs water and a wood. I was kind of hoping that, that grapes would just grow naturally in the, in the, in the, in the desert. So just for fun, I'm going to put the other grape here, and I want to see how it differs. Um, and, you know, I could go research it, of course, but again, I just would rather try it and have fun here. Now, I was I was the type of kid, kid that usually wanted to read all the rules for the game before starting to play, where all the other kids were like, "Ah, let's just start," and they didn't even know what the rules were. They just wanted to start playing. So there's a little bit of both of us, of both of those theories in me and everyone, I think. Okay, there's the farmer carrying a bucket to it, and then there's Mr. Buggy Cart, whatever his name is, Puddles, carrying a bucket to it. Now, we got our two water, and we're going to have one wood. That shouldn't take long. I did build this little road over here that will speed up whoever, the farmers, and also the guy walking over to the uh, wind turbines. And one thing that's taking my lumber mill so long is the... The guy that's making the lumber has to walk over here and get those energy batteries over and over again. So it's a little bit slower than when you have, will have, than when we have the power plant built. It'll speed it up quite a bit. Ooh, that looks like it's selling peppermint, which I, originally I did put two, a couple of peppermints in. I, would, I thought I flushed that out maybe, but maybe I still have a peppermint somewhere. Yeah, I still have one stupid peppermint there. I didn't even know that because it looks so much like a tree. Uh, I'd rather have a, you know, trees need more water, so it's just a nice little bonus getting a peppermint sale, I guess. Okay, so here is the other type of vine, I guess they call them, not grapes, they're vines. Ooh, that one's pretty slow, 14 minutes. Why are you so slow? This one, oh, we're waiting on the water and the wood. We always want our crops to be green if possible. Could be the mountain. That's the case I'm in trouble because I was planning on building grapes up and down here. And if the mountain is shading them or something like that, that's not going to be a good thing. Oh, the Chardonnay is wood, not lumber. Hang on, let's check this again. Let me just... Oh no, it's, it's lumber, I think, when you build it. So it takes lumber to build it, but then after that, it still requires the wood to actually make some grapes. Now it's got two water and it's waiting on one wood, which should come pretty quickly. There goes the sale of wool right now. So the wool is being stored here in the storehouse. In the truck, off it goes. Farmer just dropped the wood there. Now, normally, I'm, I'm really not going to have two types of wine vines, I don't think. It seems to make sense to only have one at a time. But notice this one's green and this one's not. So may, It could be Pinot Noir just grows slower. And I think I will now go do some research since I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, oh, there's actually three types of grapes. Cabernet as well. There's a medium article. And then I use this site quite a bit. Uh, Townstar Guide and or this one, Learn Townstar. I'm going to open each of these in a different tab. You know me, I like lots of tabs. Well, ultimately, the grapes can be used to make wine, of course. But you have to build bottles. And that's another reason you need to be in the desert. So you can get silica, I believe, to actually make the bottles. Silica is only found in the sand. 
And see, all these you're going to need oak barrels as well. So one of your lumber mills would have to make oak barrels. And what does it tell us here? See, this is what I've seen, the purple grapes, which are the Pinot Noir. There is a thing called a winery, which, of course, I've never built since I never had grapes before. Quest to produce and deliver the finest wines may appear simple, but as it unfolds, you will learn why the world-renowned wines are so highly valued. Making a fine wine requires intricate planning and astute skills of organization. You need a glass factory. Never did one of those before. And see, it needs chromium and limestone, which I think comes from the mine on the side of your town. There's your winery. Of course, you need a lumber mill. That doesn't tell us much, really. Okay, this tells us the prices. Like, see, this is for the wine itself. This is just for the grapes. Chardonnay is four ninety six. That's a lot more than see than Cabernet. That's like ugh, a whole bunch more. Oh, no, Chardonnay grapes, I'm sorry. Chardonnay grapes are only eight. Cabernet grapes are 16. Look over here, see the timer? The timer on Cabernet is, uh, I think this is like the green down to the red. So even if you're green, it's going to be 420 seconds, I believe. And then Chardonnay grapes are 360 seconds. Go on down, look for Pinot Noir grapes. Right here, it sells for 20, which we have to compare, and it takes 450. Uh, back here, 450, 420. I'm getting so confused. Okay, Pinot Noir sells for 20, and so 10 of them would be only $200. That's why you need hundreds and hundreds of grapes, right? What is this called? City price, city points. Oh, points. I'm sorry. Points is the stars you get, okay? So that's what, they, again, they call, used to call the metadata. Now they call the dynamic rules. And so points are one thing, but cash is what we're looking for to start with. So let's compare the cash. 18, 20, so times 10. Think of 18,200 every time you sell Cabernet grapes. Chardonnay grapes, uh, about a little less than half that amount. It's a lot cheaper, but I think they're going to grow faster, right? And then Pinot Noir, ooh, they sell for a lot more, but then I think they're just going to be slower, 57,200. It depends if you're patient or not. So I'm going to be greedy and go for Pinot Noir. I don't know. Again, I have I I know there's tons of videos out there, but again, this game is only going to be for five days. So I'm just kind of like, let's throw the, the stuff in the wind and see what happens. This will tell you more about it here. The labor, the points, what it produces, and so on. I think that's enough. I'm going to just go with this one, which was the Pinot Noir. So I, I'm going to destroy this one. I just put it there just to see what it would do. Oh, and I forgot. While I was reading those web pages, my game basically... Oh, look at there. There's gas coming in three planes now. Man, they really like these planes. This is the first time I've ever saw three. Um, the game pauses if you go to another browser window. So I should have actually opened these in a separate window and then slid my window off the screen. That's a trick so that your game will keep going while you're reading other things on the web. Okay. So let's continue here with some more Pinot Noir. I want to check my silo too. Is there any of them growing yet? No, we're still waiting on... This is the first batch. Oh, the, oh, it's still 12 minutes. 
I don't know if I can wait that long or not. Okay, I want to see if it's the mountains or not. So for fun again and testing, I'm going to build a break field over here. Of course, I may need some ponds in here in the future. I'm going to do another Pinot Noir. And I'll give that a while to build and I'll come back to you. I'm mainly interested in what the speed of it's going to be. If it'll be green because it's further from the mountains or not. No, but I just realized I'm going to have shade from the dumb lumberjacks on this one. But that doesn't actually prove anything. So I'm going to remove that one. The only place that's not near a house that might be good is right here. Because there we'll have water too. Right next to my trees and my existing ponds. There, finally, we got our five lumbers into the power plant. Boom. Now this guy, he's always going to have two energy because he's diagonally touching that. And he's getting all his water from here. So our lumber mill is set to go. I'm going to go ahead and go and build. I have enough money. I'm going to build another lumber mill here. I think we're going to need it. So the other thing I want to test is here, if I... If I want to make battery, oh, it's already crafting. So see, it's actually making batteries. And it says here, see, it's getting two crude oils because it's next to the oil seat. So um, I'm not going to need the batteries really at this point or the energy, but maybe later in the game I will. But that's pretty cool that you don't have to have any crude oil pumps because of this oil seat. So that's what one thing that that's good use for is, is getting batteries out of the power plant with no crude oil. And then also, if you had a refinery next to it, you wouldn't need crude oil being delivered to that refinery. You know what? I could even sell the batteries, but batteries don't have a very large sale price, I don't think. Let's grab this truck before we put something else on it. Let's check the battery price. The 10 batteries only brings you $1,500, so that's really not worth selling, I don't think. Okay, so here was the answer to my question. Here, the Pinot Noir is growing fast. Here's the answer to my question. Pinot Noir is green over here. It looks like it's going to take maybe seven, seven and a half minutes to make one of them. So I'm afraid, though, if I come this direction, the closer I get to the mountain, they'll turn yellow, and then maybe here they'll be red. So see that one there? I'm going to build on the same plane as that one same horizontal line going across. So right here, I'm going to build one and see if it goes yellow as well. Then I have to think about how to handle this. Okay, so this is surprising. This line or great field here is actually green. So if I scroll back, I don't know much about the mountains. Like if you actually if you look at this row here, is that considered a mountain? Because there's no gray thing right there. Is it only when there's a tall mountain or well, no, this row over here doesn't have a gray thing either though. If you look at this row, it touches get that cloud out of the way. It touches a green area too. So why did this one it slowed down. That's going to have to be a Google research item. Okay, this is the Townstar Guide, a web page called Wine Production. So it shows you all the things that go into making a bottle of wine. So I believe this is telling you it takes a bottle plus a barrel plus the grapes to make a bottle of wine. So Pinot, Pinot Noir I believe is the purple one. It looks like we need five or six grapes to make one wine bottle. The nice thing is I, grapes, as far as I know, they don't have to be like milled or anything. So you don't need any of those windmills. And you need iron though to make the, uh, the oak barrels. To make the bottles, you need, I think this is silica and limestone and whatever the other thing is. We need a sand mine. An iron mine, 
I'll need a glass factory, and then I'll need a winery. It looks like you really want a mountain and an ocean, because it says the salt mine will deliver silica fastest when it's by the ocean. Of course, river, you're not going to get all four of them. And the rivers would help water your grapes. And a forest will let you build... Um, that makes doesn't make sense. You can't... Well, no, you could have a forest that's next to a mountain. You can have both, two biomes or two or three together. Unfortunately, this page is not telling me like what slows down the grapes. So I will have to tell you that information in the future. So I think that's all I'm going to cover today's video. I basically just wanted to share you the, the trick about the free gas. And I assume that's in all the biomes. And it's because the servers got reset. And then everything else I just told you about the desert was just kind of me talking and not knowing what I'm doing because it's the first time I'm in the desert. Okay. So maybe that was helpful to you. And enjoyed talking to you as always. I'll see you in the next video.